that was incompatible with God. That man was killed on the cross. The reality of the fact in Christianity is we are born of the Spirit, but we are discipled by the Word. Welcome, Welcome to Jubilee Christian Church, Thika Road. Understand that there is a capacity that is called the nature of God that is in me. We, we preach Christ.
Santa Labashi, the Catayana Mana Shantele, you are lifted up, Jesus. The Catayana Mana Layani, you are the Lord of every situation. Oh God. You are the Lord. Proclaim the Lordship of Jesus. Come on, lift up your hands in His holy presence. Proclaim His Lordship. Proclaim His Kingship. Proclaim His Rulership. Let your worship rise from within. Let your worship rise from within. Oh, 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 be lifted up. Above all of the cats, Ia la katanda la basi alele, Ia katanda la basi ala basandele, Oso katanda la basi, Ia la katandele, Ia la bayande, Zakata ya na masandele, You are lifted up, katanda la basande, Oh, she ya la basi, Oh, Hallelujah.
You are faithful to complete it. Here, katanda la basi ya keti ya la ba. I ya la basi ya ni na yande. We you to this grace, oh God, to complete and to perfect that which concerns us, oh God. Asima na mai na ni na ni na ila ni la ila la. We fix our eyes on you, Jesus. Here, la basi ya ni mai na ni na ya. Focus your eyes on Jesus. Focus your attention on Jesus. Ali pakute lebesi ya nama. Ali kotende lebesi ya nama. Ya nama ya nama ya nama ya nama. For everything fades away. Everything else fades away. And the revelation of your glory, Jesus. Everything else fades away. Everything else fades away. Everything else fades away. Oh, every destruction fades away. Oh, shakatana la basi, alleluia. We worship you, Jesus. You alone. You alone, we make our boss. You alone, in you alone, we make our boss. For you reign, oh God, as the Lord of all. You reign, here la basi, alamaya. And all we see is you, Jesus. All we see is you. All we see is you, Jesus. All we see is you. All I see is you, Jesus. All I see is you. All I see is you. I do not see challenges. I do not see difficulties. Oh I do not see hindrances. Oh God. I do not see sicknesses. Oh God. I see you. I see you. All I see is you. Let us focus our eyes on Jesus. In your presence, oh God. All I see is you. <laughs> As I worship and adore you.
Worship him that who is in control. Worship that one who is in charge. Oh, Worship him who has the reins of your life. I worship you, Rena Mahase Keta Kanamahan Dararia Zota Yaragadaha. Oh, the undefeated one is in charge of your life. Ikanamahasa Kata Kanamahan Dararia Zataina. The one who has no impossibility in him is in charge of our lives. Ikatanamahasha Kanamahan Dararia Zatande. Not only in charge of our lives, but in charge of all that concerns us. Ikanamahaso Kata Namahasha Kanamahan. Oh, lift him up, Worship him, Worship him who has given you a Access of all things in Christ Jesus. Worship Him, worship Him, worship Him. Lift Him up in the mighty name of Jesus. Shatta Namahan Zaka Namaha. Orakata Namahan Dararia Zekata Kanamaha. Worship Him who has availed all things in Christ Jesus. Ikata Namaha Zaka Taka Namahan Dararia Zataya. Lift Him up who has availed all things that you require for this life and for godliness. Lift Him up. Rekata Namaha. Oh, who has made it possible for you not to lack any good thing? And he has not only availed, he has given you full access. Begin to acknowledge those things that he has availed in Christ Jesus. Iramaha sokata namaha shekata kanamaha. Erakata kanamaha dereria zota namaha dagadaha shakaina. That you can begin to speak them. Remaha sokata kanamaha. Establishing. Remaha sokota kanamaha dereria zetaya. Hayaraha shekanamaha zeketa kanamaha dereria zetaya. That he has availed. Peace, rekamanaha saka namaha, ekata namaha sekata kanamaha dararia zota inamaha saka nde, arakata namaha sokota kanamaha dararia zata namaha, rekata namaha sokota kanamaha dararia zata ya, and he is in charge. Ika namaha sokota kanamaha dararia zata ya, making sure that every child of God enjoys the peace that He provides to the fullness in the mighty name of. Jesus worship him ikata namaha sakana mahanda rarariya zataina hashekaya 
Rakata Namahasa Kanamahanda Rariazataya. All that I have required, He has provided. Ikata Namahasha Kanamahanda Rariazeta Namaha. Akata Namahaso Kataka Namahanda Rariazataya. Thank you that you have me covered. Thank you that you are in charge of my life. Thank you that you are in control. Rekanamahasa Kataka Namaha. Ikata Namaha Zeketa Kanamahanda Rariazataya. Hashakaya, ikata namaha sokata kanamaha ndaradia zata namaha. That's why all I see is you. Remaha sokata kanamaha, akata namaha sekata kanamaha ndaradia zata ya. Ika namaha sakata kanamaha ndaradia zata namaha. I open my eyes, I look into my life, and I see your victory. Ika yara namaha sakata kanamaha ndagada sakaina. Rekata namaha sak. And therefore I lift you up, Ramaha Sekata Kaya Ragadaha, Rakata Namaha Sheketa Kanamaha Ndaradia Zeta Namaha, Ekata Namaha Shaka Namaha Ndaradia Zataina. I worship you, Remaha Sokata Kanamaha Ndaradia Zataya. That your presence is not somewhere I go to, Ramaha Sakata Kanamaha, Ah Rakata Kanamaha Sheketa Kanamaha, Ekata. Katanamaha zokota kaira hasha katanamaha, but out of your fullness, reketa kanamaha sakanamaha. You have filled me, remaha sokata kanamaha. And when you are in charge of my life, you reign from within me. Makata namaha sakata kanamaha shakanamaha. Era hasokata kanamaha ndereria zataina. I see your working, rakamaha shekata kanamaha. I see your power, ramaha shekata kanamaha. I see your goodness, Remaha Sakata Kanamaha Ndereria Zataina. I see your Holy Spirit at work inside of me, and therefore I glorify you, Remaha Sokata Kanamaha, Rakata Namaha Shekata Kanamaha Ndereria Zataya. All I have required, you have provided. Ikata Namaha Shakata Kanamaha Ndereria Zataina, Rakata Namaha Shakanamaha, Rakata Namaha Se. Keta kana mahanda radaria zata ya, and you have not left me to work it on my own. Makaya ragada handa radaria zata ina mahasa kata kana maha, but you're always with me. Re mahasa kata kande, ika tana mahasa kana mahanda radaria zata ya. This is the reason I lift you up. Rakata na mahasa kata kana maha, eh rakana mahasa kana mahanda radaria zata ya. This is why I proclaim that I see. You akaina hashe kata kana mahanda radaria zatanda ramaha shokota kana mahanda radaria zataina. I see your power ramaha shakana maha. I see your kindness rekata na mahanda gadaha. I see your care rakana maha shokota kana maha. E rakana maha zeketa kana maha shakana gadaha. A rakata na maha shokota kana mahanda radaria zataina. Iraha shak. Kana mahanda gadaha sokota kaya ragadaha remaha shaka na maha seketa kana maha eraha sokata kanda radaria sota ina na maha shaka ya and I appreciate you Jesus ika na maha shaka na mahanda radaria zata ya I appreciate you Lord remaha sokata kana maha eka na maha sokota kana mahanda radaria zata ya for being Lord over my life remaha sokota kana maha Ekata na mahasha kana mahanda radaria zata na maha. Erakata na mahasha kana mahanda radaria zata ya. Thank you that you have provided peace for this land. Ramaha shekata kana mahanda radaria zata ina. Ekata na mahasha kana maha. And therefore we establish it as children of the Most High God in this nation in the mighty name of Jesus. Ekana mahasha kata kana maha. Rakata na mah. Mahasa kana mahanda radaria zata ya, ika na mahasa kana mahanda radaria zata ya, ika tana mahasa kota kana maha, eka tana mahasa kana mahanda radaria zata ya. Every day re mahasa kana maha, ika tana mahanda radaria zata ya. Wherever I am, makaya ragada hashe keta kana mahanda radaria zata ya. There you are in charge, ra mahasa kata kana ha, ika tana mah. 
there you are in control rekata namaha zeketa kanamaha ekata namaha shaka namaha ndararia zataina ikata namaha shaka takanamaha eraha soka takandereria zatanamaha ekata namaha zokota kanagada handararia zataya ekana namaha shaka namaha ndararia zatanamaha era kanamaha sokota kanamaha ndararia zataina ekata namaha shaka namaha establish that which you want to see in this nation because he has availed it he has provided he has made it possible remaha shaka takanamaha ndararia zataya ekata namaha shoko takanamaha for you as a child of god to call it into existence in the name of jesus ikata namaha shoko takanamaha era kanamaha shoko takanamaha akata nagada handararia zataina hashakaya akanamaha shoko takanamaha ndararia zataya as he is in charge through us ikanamaha shoko takanamaha we allow him to reign remaha shoko takanamaha we let him speak ramaha shoko takanagadaha we let him order ramaha shoko takanamaha ekata namaha shaka nagadaha everything that concerns this nation in the name of the lord Shaka tanamaha zeketa kaya ikata namaha zokota kanamaha rakata namaha sheketa kanamaha ndarararia zataya he is in charge ramaha sokota kanamaha araka namaha sakata kanamaha over all learning institutions he is in charge makaya ragada handereria zatai namaha sokota kana akata namaha sokota kanamaha ndarararia zataya yes over the lives of our children he is in charge makaya ragada handereria zatai namaha and they will learn in a peaceful nation they will play in a peaceful nation they will grow in a peaceful nation into becoming all that god has called them to become in the mighty name of jesus come on child of god establish it this evening in the nation of kenya like you are a citizen like you are it is your motherland in the mighty name of jesus shakata kanamaha rakata namaha shokota kanamaha akata namaha seketa kanamaha ara kanamaha shokota kanamaha if kenya was a good land how would it look like ikanamaha shokota kanamaha ndarararia zataya then establish it in the mighty name of the lord makaya ragada handararia zataya how would you do your business remaha sakata kanamaha then establish it this evening in the mighty name name of Jesus for he has a fair veil that which you see in the name of the Lord remaha sokota kanamaha rakata namaha sokota kanamaha he has availed it for you to profit of it in the mighty name of Jesus shakata kanamaha he has provided he has given us success he has provided he has availed makaya ragada hasheketa kanamaha rakata namaha sokota kanamaha and he meant for us to enjoy peace ikanamaha sokota kanamaha ndereria zataya ekatanamaha ndereria zataina hashakaya ikatanamaha sokota kanamaha within every square inch of our borders ikanamaha shakata kanamaha rekatanamaha zakata kanamaha ora mahasheketa kanamaha rekakatanamaha ndereria zataya ragadaha ramaha sokota kanamaha ikatanamaha sokota kanamaha he has availed it now for a season ikatanamaha sokota kanamaha but forever in the mighty name of jesus ora mahashakata kanamaha establish it rekata kanamaha sokata kaya it's for your prophet remaha sakaina ikatanamaha sokota kanamaha it's for the prophet of your brothers establish it it's for the prophet of your children 
children established in the mighty name of Jesus. Rekata namaha sokota kanamaha akata nagada hasha kaya ragada ha ekata namaha sokota kanamaha ndara raria shataina ora kanamaha sakata kaya ikata namaha sokata kanamaha rakata namaha shakata kande ikata namaha sokota kanamaha rakata namaha rekata namaha zakata kanamaha ndara raria zataya begin to give thanks reketa kanamaha for you know it has been established ikanamaha zakata kanda raria shekata namaha ikakanamaha sokata kaya rakata namaha ndara raria zataina ikakanamaha sheketa kanamaha remaha sakaina rakanda raria shatana maha lift up your voice and begin to give thanks for he has done it in the mighty name of jesus you shall enjoy ikanamaha sheketa kanamaha ramaha sokota kanamaha give thanks like you know he has heard you give thanks like you know he has never failed give thanks like you know he is god in the mighty name of jesus we give you praise oh. we believe you have done it oh. we believe you have done it oh. we believe you have heard our prayers oh. we thank you oh. we thank you for the answers oh. we thank you for the manifestation of that which you have delivered by your spirit oh. we thank you Lord. we thank you we thank you Lord we thank you Lord we thank you Lord la casa ya la basa la basa la semana santa una semana santa kwa mungu wangu na semana santa kwa we Yeah. 
without effect you speak intentionally you speak with a goal and that goal is not to pacify our emotions that goal is to bless lives that goal is to spar victory in your people's lives and that, that People may, your people may experience victory even as it's ratified by the blood. Even as it's established by the resurrection of your son Jesus. For this reason I stand here not as a man pleaser but as he that has been mandated to bless. I thank you Holy Spirit I can do nothing without you. Even as it's so said already in the word of God. That without you we can do nothing. Thank you for impartation. Thank you for understanding. Thank you for joy. Thank you for victory. Thank you for triumph. Thank you that your kingdom O oh God. Is established. To the praise of the glory of your grace. In the name of Jesus I have prayed. Put your hands together. Let's celebrate the king. Jesus you are the reason we ever gather. We never gather unto man. We gather unto God. We gather unto God. 
we gather to his voice that he may hear, that he may listen, that he may listen, that he may understand, that he may know that our lives may change, that our lives may change, that our lives may change, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. One more time, let's just appreciate him. Amen. And before we take our seats, I'd like us also to appreciate the man and the woman of God that he has brought us to sit under, that he may be mentored by, and that he may receive from them. Put your hands together in a better way in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. A friend of my father is my friend. Amen. Pastor Chengo is in the house. <laughs> A friend to our father is our friend. Hallelujah. <laughs> Please appreciate this amazing man of God again. Yes, it's always an honor to have you with us, sir. In Jesus' name. Kindly you may sit. Yeah. Go ahead and sit. Let's appreciate these amazing vessels of Christ. Amen. To God be the praise. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. The impact of words, the impact of the words you say in prayer how valuable are those words do they carry any weight do they have any significance amen say a yes to it amen we are confident in the words that we speak in prayer why because they are not ours. Praise the name of Jesus. They are not ours. And they have a foundation from which they come. They have a basis that cannot be annulled. They have a basis that cannot be challenged. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Availing prayer. A prayer that will be focused on something and a result ensues and comes forth. Praise the name of Jesus. A prayer that will be made with an intention to produce a certain desired result. And it achieves that which it was made for praise the name of jesus the availing prayer that which delivers the quality of prayer that delivers on the purpose for which it has made praise the name of jesus christ hallelujah are you there and uh, last friday we really sought to discover how dynamic words are how effectual not just words but the word of God in your mouth which we saw that it is as good as they being in God's mouth praise the name of Jesus Christ they are as effective and every other thing follows as uh, 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 every other thing obeys it and bows to it just as if God himself said it. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. How dynamic are the words we say in prayer? Do you trust that the words you're saying are not just babblings, but there is a different, a definite result that you are in you are expecting that those words bring about praise the name of Jesus Christ is it prayer that is being done out of fear 
Is it prayer that is being done out of anxiety and panic? Or is it a prayer that whose quality, whose quality is as good as God himself? Praise the name of Jesus Christ. That there is no way the words projected from your lips, there is no way, they are not, there is no expectation at all for those words to fail. But for them to deliver even as they have been meant to deliver. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Please say with me, availing prayer. A prayer that avails much. And we see that scripture from the book of James. Chapter, chapter 3, please, may we turn there. And even after knowing how effectual the words you say are. After knowing the capability of the words you speak. How capable are the words you say? Praise the name of Jesus. What weight does the, word, does the words you say bring about? Do they carry any weight? Amen? Because they are not prayers and it is not utterance and it is not declaration that is, is made with a 50-50 attitude. No. And we saw last week that as the tongue as little as it is, no matter how fierce the storms are, no matter how fierce the waves are, they will not take that ship to where the rudder has not directed. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. For we all stumble in many ways if anyone does not stumble in what? In what? In what? Inward. Uh -huh. He is a perfect man. Able also to bridle the whole body. That for me to organize my body, I shouldn't deal with my hand. I should deal with my mouth. I should deal with my tongue. That if I go out to try to control the body, my nurse, what is going on in the words I say, it is a work in futility. And that word is the word that we have gotten and we have seen and having received it from God himself, for he is actually that word. So he says, that if anyone does not stumble in word, he is a perfect man. Able. Say able. Able. Say able. So ability. There is ability. He is able also to bridle the whole body. He who does not stumble in what they say. He who does not speak inaccurate things. He who does not speak things that are not as God has said them to be. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. And this we find in what Jesus has already established for us. What are the things that have been declared legal for us to enjoy? Praise the name of Jesus. The things that have been delivered for us to experience. So we have only find them in God's word. And they are the things that now direct our speaking. So our talk is conditioned by those finished works. Acknowledging that you are healed. Bible says you are now able to control your body. Including if that body by any means it starts to feel ill. Breedling is control. Breedling is control. Hey, you are not sick. You cannot be sick. Wake up. This authority that is drawn 
in word. Even as we have been told and have already been taught, Bible says in times past, God spoke to our forefathers by what? By the prophets. But now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. Including what his death proclaimed. His death said something. His burial declared something. His resurrection established something. There is a voice in his resurrection. There is a message that the resurrection of Christ brings about. Touching your life. The consequence of his death is the message that we are talking about. The consequence, the death of Christ had a consequence on the soul, on the spirit, and even including the body. Because he died for the total man. He died for the total person. That this person is not only free spiritually, but also financially. He's not only free, you know, physically, but he's also free in the soul. That you may prosper and be in health. Amen? Even as what? So such things that we see in God's word. They are the ones that form the basis of our ability. Even as he says, by the word you breed all the body. Praise the name of Jesus. By the word of God we do what? We breed all the body. In other words, we tell the body what to experience. We tell the body where to go. We tell the body what is its portion. And what not is its portion. Amen. So we see a person and a figure that is totally in charge of themselves. But the manner, that the manner in which I am able to direct how I feel in the body. Praise the name of Jesus. When that lie, you know, may show up that somebody is feeling ill and feeling sick. And Bible says we can organize it. The word says... We can organize it, yet not by our own words, because every other word leads to stumbling. If anyone does not stumble in what? In word. If anyone has the accurate representation of who Christ is to them. If somebody has gotten it, what it means for Christ to die for them. What it means for Christ to say it is done. What it means for Christ to be buried. What it means for Christ to be resurrected from the dead. That forms the content of our ability to breed all what we experience. Praise the name of Jesus. Let's continue on. Indeed, we put bits in horses' mouths. With what intention? That they may obey us. In other words, we are determining where the horse will go. We are the owners of the horse. The horse is not we, are not, we do not belong to the horse. So, we are the one doing what? He says, we put bits in horses' mouths so that they may obey us and we turn their whole body. So, these people do not go about pushing the horse from every side. No. There is a particular place that when you touch, the horse will willfully follow. Praise the name of Jesus. That the horse will follow because of what, where you have touched. And he says it is that beat in its what? So the horse in itself is so weighty, is so huge, is so massive. We cannot go about pushing and pulling it. No. 
just to know what controls, just to know what con makes us effective in controlling the entire. And what is that? Is the beat in its, in its mouth. Let's proceed on. Let's proceed on. Look also at the ships, although they are so large. So what? They are so what? And are driven by fierce winds. So they are winds. Like in the marketplace, they are winds. Amen? In society, in the community, they are winds. And those winds, without proper control from the rudder, will push the ship to where it's not supposed to go. Praise the name of Jesus. Look also at the ships, although they are so large and are driven by fierce winds, they are turned by a very small. So we are not focusing on how fierce the environment is. We are focusing on the power resident in the radar. We are not conscious of the storms outward. We are not conscious of which, whichever song the world is singing. No. We are not in the business of scrutinizing what is going on there. Let it go on. But for us, we have a radar. That even though there is a pushing and a pulling in the marketplace, as long as you have that radar, you direct your life to where you want. Not to where you will be driven. You are never driven. You self-drive. You do what? So by reason of God's word, we have been made regulators. You regulate the direction you want to take. You do not go to a destination undesirable. You only go to the destination that you desire to be there. How? In word. You follow? Praise the name of Jesus Christ. They are, they are done what? They are done. By a very small radar. And we looked at that statement. And we did not omit. That word very small. And we said. Do not despise. Something because it, is, it looks small. Do not despise the tongue. Because maybe it's less than a quarter a kilo. It could save the entire humanity by what you say. Hallelujah. It could save your cousin that is, you know, sick. It could save. It could be the end it is. Why? The words you speak, the words I speak, they are spirit and they are life. And Jesus saying, so now it is indwelling me. Has he ceased doing the same things? No, he says, my father worketh hitherto, and I must work. And so Jesus also is working in me now, and in you now, through even prayer. It is through prayer that we call work with him. It is through him, through prayer, that we call work and as his dominion in the earth. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Say with me, I have dominion. I have the ability. Bible says, and even as we have read, that you are able it is you who will determine your experience. In, in, you know, in a nutshell, that I am not supposed to be a victim of situations. 
that I am not supposed to say, hey, I just found myself in this situation. No. According to the word of God, your destination and where you are is a result of what you say. So if you do not want it, disallow it. And if you want it, allow it. Amen? Praise the name of Jesus Christ. By the word of God. That we cannot breed our life. We cannot quiet down the storms in this life by human words. It can never be done by panic. It will never be done through fear. It will never be done by human ability. No. It is the word of God only that is effectual enough to bring about the desired result that we are out for. Amen? Praise the name of Jesus Christ. And this God is so gracious that he has made it so possible with you. Amen? 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 So say with me, I am completely responsible of what I experience. What I don't want, I disallow. So that destiny, that kind envisioned will not just come by chance. It is molded through words. Hey, my son, you will not grow this way. You will be this way. Me as your father. This is, will, this is what is going to be your experience. All the, that I'm speaking for parents. Amen? Amen? My business. You are uncommon. Why? Because you have been... The one working this business is uncommon. He's a God. So you cannot bear the same results as the results of a politician. Otherwise, where's the difference? My business, you will not fall prey to that which is destroying others. Why? Because I am not others. I am not, you are not, my marriage, this shall be your order of the day. Amen? So he says that you, your life lies squarely on the weight, in the weight of the words that you speak. And this is why we every time create chance we every time create platforms and we create time always to have a moment just to pray because not many of us if not all may have all this time <laughs> but we gather together with focused minds with focused heart for one business to make things happen Yet not us, but the Spirit of God that is at work in us. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Are you there still? Are you there still? So, your life is not on autopilot. It's not as a result of chance. Neither is it a result of luck. I was lucky. No, 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 no. As far as kingdom life is concerned, life is a definite affair. You have it the way you want it. Because you create it with the words you say. Hallelujah. Anyone following? Praise the name of Jesus. So how effective your prayer will be or is. Is founded in God's word. Is founded on the perceptions of Christ. Is founded on the convictions that you have pertaining God's word. 
Does the word of God has effect? Does it mean anything? When God says, does it make any effect? Let's turn to, to Psalms. Psalms chapter 33. I'm reminded of this scripture. Psalm 33, I, be, I believe it's verse 9. 33 verse 9. Hallelujah. For he did what? He did what? One, two, three, go. For he spoke and it was. He spoke and it failed. He spoke and it never came about. He spoke and it did what? It was done. That is God for you. Who is that? He commanded and it stood fast. In other words, he got what he needed to get. What he wanted to get, he said it. And today he is saying, he is not this insecure God for you to be able to attain the same result as himself. He says, even greater works you will do. More than this. Praise the name of Jesus. So he is not insecure for you to work his kind of works. Through what you say. It is him who has said that for those that believe this they shall do. And much more. Even greater. Amen. So even greater is your reason. It is your portion. Even So if you walked on one sea, you should walk on several. Eh? If he multiplied bread and fish and fed 7,000, that should be happening even 50,000 seated. Eating. Eh? <laughs> Five kilos of rice. Even great. You know, I've been following my pastor's convictions. And they have not been they have not reserved anything that they knew that we needed for any transformation, you know. And uh, last Sunday, last Sunday, but one, after, after the service, ma'am, um, a brother finds me there. And I was seated after service and everything is over and this cleaning going on. And this brother who in the church, he comes to me. I was seated there by myself and he tells me, Pastor, please pray with me. I'm no more working. I need a job. I asked him, what do you want? Which job do you want? And I remembered Pastor Pauline's, you know, a statement. She says, Define blessing. When you tell God, bless me, what do you mean? That's too general. <laughs> Define it so that when it happens, you know in your knowing that I, I prayed it and it happened. So I asked this brother, okay, what do you mean you want a job? Which job do you want? And at times, it's quite unfortunate that at times we really do not know what we want. So I said, okay, leave that. I held his hand like this. So he was praying to God and he got a job. And uh, immediately I remembered something. <laughs> Pastor was preaching one day and praying for people and he said, I am giving you. I am. I give you. Whatever you've come to ask God for, I am giving you. 
So I held his hand like this and I said, I give you a job. Mimi kama Simeon nimekupatia hiyo kazi. Nimekuandika kazi. You know it sounds <laughs> Okay. Who are you? I thought it's the CEO of a company that is supposed to be saying what you're saying. Little do they understand that we are more than CEOs. The CEOs only respond to the words we say. You see a puppet? Exactly, that's who they are. So the puppeteer that is killed in his puppetry is the one that will organize them. So I say, whatever job you want, I, Mimi Kama Simeoni, Nimekupatia. So it was on a Sunday. So, so Monday, I told him, wake up, dress up, and simama hivi kwa barabara. Then, angalia uone, unezataka job gani. Wherever your heart will lead you there, go there. <laughs> it sounds like, okay, in you first of all establish which work you want, which job you want. Then, ukiwana unaweza saka ku work airport, panda gari and airport. Do you know, on Wednesday, I've been on paternity by the way, on Wednesday, I came at around noon, I found him waiting for me. You know something, you know, like Atakuja Sangapi, I tell them this. You know, that, such a miracle, yeah, that you can't just allow you to, to, to stay cool. That's how I found this, this brand. So, he tells me, I expected, I expected, like it is, to go through interview. I expected a panel. In fact, I remember telling him, it is not you who needs them. It is them that needs you. So as you go to work, know that you are a partner with them. You are not working for them. They are privileged that you are going to partner with them. So have this attitude in you. You are a child of God. You are a king who can employ you. You can only partner on terms. If those terms do not favor Achana Naza, you are not desperate for it. And you are not just for anything. You are for the best. And it's not, if it's not the best for you, Achana Naza, go for what you want, not what you have to. You know what? You're not second class. You are first class. Praise the name of Jesus. So he tells me, I even never went through an interview. In fact, the discussion we had, you, you could think maybe we are just, you know, the officials discussing how to upgrade our company. And that's how he got the job. I just said something that somebody could look at and hear and, and, and mistake it for just being casual. But somebody today is working based on the convictions that have become a part of you. Based on now things that have become meat in you. Amen? Things that you cannot be separated from. These has be have become your persuasions through the word of God. Amen? Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let's check Jeremiah even as I start to close. Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 5. Chapter 1 and verse 5 is a very, very, very uh, mm, famous book. And this time round, I'm not talking about predestination. <laughs> Amen. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I sanctified you. you I ordained you a prophet. Amen. That's five, six. 
Then said I, Ah, Lord, God, behold, I cannot speak. Behold, I cannot what? I cannot speak, for I am what? I am a youth, inexperienced. Let's proceed on. But the Lord said to me, do not say. So there are things that you ought not. You had remain, you, it had better, you remain silent on them. But do not say that you can't do it. Do not say that they are undoable. Do not say that it is impossible. Yeah? Do not say. For you shall go to all to whom I send you. Whatever I command you, you shall do what? So the efficacy of the words you say is based on the source of those words. The effectiveness of the words we say in prayer is based on the source. The source determines the weight. There are places you could go and you are asked who sent you. Says who? Oh, you give an instruction and somebody asks you, okay, unasema hivo kama nani? No, there are, there are places today where I step like this and I say, Pastor Morris has sent me. My friend, things move like something else. Because one may scare who? But you'll go places and, and mention some other name. And like, okay, who is that? Okay, how, what has that concerned? <laughs> you know, what does that, what's that name in the first place? So, the weight of the instruct, the weight of the message is resident on the source of it. The authority, the efficacy, the effectiveness will be determined by who said it. Amen? Praise the name of Jesus Christ. So our prayers also, having basis on God's word that doesn't fail, it gives us the audacity to say things. Not only to say them, but also to experience them. Now, we have been called not to an impractical life, but to a practical one. Amen? We have been called not to too much theory, but to the practicality of what we say. That the word of God has said, I shall live a peaceable life. Peace becomes my portion. And if not so, then there are things we need to fix. On what grounds do you say what you say? They are things that defy the words, human words. Sicknesses do not respond to human words. They only respond to God's word alone. Amen? So it is only God's word that is able to root out. Even as we are going to see Jeremiah. Let's just proceed on a little more, even as I, I close now. Do not be afraid of their faces, for I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. Let's proceed. Then the Lord put forth his hand and it touched my mouth. Now, that's where the ball game changes. And the Lord said to me, behold, I have put my words in your mouth. Even though you are a youth, this turns you around into a commander. Into one that is going to root out the kingdom of darkness. So it's never now a question of how tall or short. How weighty or not. How young or old. How educated or not. How wealthy or not. Now that's immaterial. Now what matters is on whose word are you making life? You are doing your business on what grounds? Amen? And this is what affords us the confidence to live in this life. 
Because God's word is unfailing. It is impossible. He says, such is my word that when I send it, there is no possibility of it returning to me having not established what I sent it for. I cannot send you to go bless them and you come empty handed. No, he tells these words so. You have to fulfill it. Amen? I cannot send you to go heal them and you fail in your agenda. No. And he said, it is finished. And that's the word of God. He did what? He died on the cross and he said, it is done. In other words, they are healed. They are free. They can be saved. The price is paid. So it is done. Amen? Let's, pro uh, please, uh, let's go back on it. Jeremiah, even as I close. Jeremiah chapter 1. Behold, I put my words in your mouth. Proceed on 10. See the progression of it. I put my words in your mouth. And he says, see, I have this day set you over nations. You follow the progression? I have put my words in your mouth. And now, as a result of that, I set you over nations. And over the kingdoms. So your rulership is mouth-based. It is based on what you say. Yeah? And, for you know, for you... It is not your word. It's not your words. It's not your own sayings. See your hekayas abnuasi. No. No, no. See what hanga. It is not the ones that say that God helps the, those who help themselves. Which scripture is that? No. He says, I have put my word in your mouth. See, I have set you over cancer. I have set you in me, it means you are above cancer. You shouldn't shake when it is mentioned. You know, the captain of our salvation, the things he did, he says he disarmed the principalities and everything. Is it possible now, Akisikia, which terrible thing can we ever, you know, say? <laughs> you know, is there anything that when he hears, he shudders? You know, he's terrified by it. Is there any? Yeah? What are your convictions? And how convinced are you that the words you say cannot but happen exactly like you said it? Because now that's what faith is. That the word will deliver even as it has spelled out. Amen? Praise the name of Jesus. See, I have set you over the nations of the, and the kingdoms to do what? To do what, church? So anything that will remain standing that is undesirable, you allowed it. You allowed it. In fact, you are comfortable with it. If you are not comfortable, you will have rooted it out. Why? Because you are set on a pedestal. You are set above it. So for it to remain there, it is by choice. It is what? It is by what? To root out and to pull down. To destroy and to throw down. There are things that the cross of Jesus annulled. And they are the things that now you enforce. No, it is written. No, by his tribes you are healed. No, it cannot be this way. Wake up. Yeah? Yeah? You're like an implementer of the already established realities. 
through what you say. This is why when we gather for prayer, for us, it's never a joke. It is never because pastor invited us. He invited us before and taught us and now we know that this is how spiritual life is lived. This is how godly families and marriages are established. So for one not to apply the same principles and truth, it is by choice. It is by because you have all that it takes. And God is not going to do anything new. He already did it. Amen? Amen? Now I close my Bible with Exodus chapter 4 verse 10. Exodus chapter 4 verse 10. Hallelujah. Then Moses said to the Lord, Oh my Lord, I am not eloquent. This is the excuse of Sam. I don't have the terminologies of Pastor Martin. I am, uh, you're trying to look for what to say. <laughs> and you're hearing this, this guy, you're like, okay. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> do not be intimidated. A whisper that is word based is as much as a shout that is word based. You, hear, you heard what I said. A whisper that is word based, better, that is truth based. A whisper that is truth based avails as much as a shout that is truth based. So, it's because the Kuja Mahombi at, ah, I can't do it that way. No. It is not crafted in stone. <laughs> do it like the grace of God is doing it in you. <laughs> Amen. So, this Muse says, I'm not eloquent, neither before. You know, neither before nor since you have spoken to your servant, but I, I am slow of speech and slow of tongue. <laughs> okay, proceed because of time. So the Lord said to him, who, was, who has made man's mouth? Why, how dare you talk to me like that? Who makes the mute and deaf and seeing of the blind? Have not I the Lord? To, uh, now therefore, God ignores all the excuses. I will be with your mouth. Because this is where you have an excuse. Now I am settling it for you. Now bring on another excuse. I will become the solution again. So he says, now therefore I have heard you Moses. How weak you are and how you, you, not eloquent you are. Now, me, me, God, I have committed myself to be your mouth. Because that's where your problem is. I will. God is with your mouth. And pastor says, Ukienda, we shall go like you'll go. And you find a cousin, a shosho, an aunt that is ailing. And uh, you know, people look helpless. God is with your mouth. God is. So do not despise the God in your mouth. Do not despise just because you don't see him or feel him. Let's read the next. But he said, oh my Lord, please send with me somebody. Is it, is it what he's saying? Send my heart of whomsoever else you may send. 
whoever else. Yani, yani God mwenyeo amesema niko na mdomo yako. But Moses is already he like, I tuma mwingine. Now, this is the problem of some of us. <laughs> when pastor tells you God is in your mouth, you still question. You still want the senior pastor to pray. <laughs> you do not trust the God in your mouth. Yeah, our pastors have directed us to the God in your mouth. Now, I'm a talk about heart. <laughs> because out of the heart, so he's fast in your heart before he's in your mouth. The truth you don't know will not work for you in your mouth. Praise God. Proceed on. Let's see how this conversation ends. So the anger. God had to be angry. Because now he's wondering if I am the solution. And there is no other God apart from me. How can I help you? You distrust me. So he had to be angry. Kindle against Moses and he said, it's not now I can shift your assignment. Remember, because you distrust me, you have no faith in me. Now I'm sending somebody else together with you. And he says, you know, Aaron the Levite with brother, I know that he can speak well and I know that he was there and he could pray well. But I chose you. I know he rattles in tongues much more maybe according to your own you know I don't know even how you grade that because the spirit is the spirit but I they still chose you I know that he can speak well and look he's also coming out to meet you when he sees you he will be verse 15 now you shall speak to him and put the words in his mouth you, do you follow and I will be with your mouth again and with his mouth and I will teach you what you shall do 16 as I close so he shall be your spokesperson to the people but at evil sita kuacha evil he himself shall be as a mouth for you but you shall be as a God to him praise the name of Jesus Let's celebrate God for this amazing, 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 amazing. Now, a swordsman that doesn't know they have a sword, or they know they have a sword, but do not, they are not trained to use the sword, they may not be effective in what they do. So training in the word, by the word of God, makes you a master swordsman. Amen. That when you meet a case, you know how to. Otherwise. Okay, let me let me let it. Let's appreciate God again for his amazing. Life. Very quickly, very quickly, please. I would like you just to respond. I give you like a minute to respond. In other terms, and release the power in your mouth. Direct it to any case that you can relate with. Anything that you know that needs to be chopped off by the sword of the word of God. Direct it in a minute. Address it in a minute. In other terms, focus. Be definite about it. Say, I changed that situation. I changed that situation. I raised that man from the bed. In Jesus name. Just speak it out. For a minute in the name of Jesus. Say I. 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 Release that person from hospital. In the name. I discharge them. I discharge my shosh. I discharge my cousin. I discharge them. Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you Jesus Christ. For your word never fails. We bless you. We thank you. In Jesus name. Kindly very quickly you can package your offering. Package your offering even as I bring to us. Uh, the announcements, please. Hallelujah. Even as I bring to us the announcements.
Amen. The man, what's happening tomorrow? The man, sons of my father, what is happening tomorrow? What is happening tomorrow? Yeah. The breakfast that we have always been announcing and announcing for months, now it is tomorrow. And it is at this point that I would like to request all the men kindly make some, uh, spare some time uh, because we need to set this house and be ready for either, you know, the, the breakfast tomorrow. Amen? Amen? It's a kind request, kindly, if you can just spare some time, uh, you know, some, some, some minutes so that we may organize this place, that we may have a wonderful time tomorrow. Amen? This is Jubilee Christian Church Thicker Road. of me being crucified with Christ was to eradicate that old person that was incompatible with God that man was killed on the cross the reality of the fact in Christianity is we are born of the spirit but we are discipled by the word welcome to Jubilee Christian Church Thicker Road understand that there is a capacity that is called the nature of God that is in you we 